Hello, <laughs> welcome. I'm glad you're here. Um, today we're going to be utilizing a couple of blocks and straps. So I'll give you a few minutes to round up that stuff, find your comfortable seated position on your mat, and then we'll get started. And we'll just go ahead and find that easy pose. Finding your seat, we'll just sit here for a minute. We'll breathe in nice and slow. We want to fill up our lungs using our nose. So we'll breathe through our nose. Exhaling nice and slow. We're just feeling that breath in our body. We're just seeing how our body feels today. Maybe it feels a little lopsided. Maybe it feels a little tight or tense, and that's absolutely okay. We're just observing here. Now on your next inhale, I want you to breathe in nice and slow, not forcing that breath, just moving with your body. And as you do this, I want you to take those shoulders and pick them up and warm up back and down. Just finding some space here, listening to our body, tuning inwards. <clears throat> just want to take the time to check in with ourselves. Find that nice diaphragmatic breath. Diaphragmatic breath as we look up towards the sky. I want you to keep those shoulders down away from the ears. So just observe where you are in space today. Breathe in and look up. As we exhale, we're going to bring that chin down towards our chest. We're moving nice and slow here. We don't need to force any movements. We want everything just to feel real nice on the body today as we breathe in and look up from the direction towards the sky. We don't want to go any further than feels nice. So just move gracefully. Exhaling, bringing that chin to the chest. Breathing in, looking up. In the chest. We're going to pause with our chin down towards our chest, and I want you to roll that left ear over to the left shoulder. We're stacking that ear on top of the shoulder. We're breathing in nice and slow as we find some space and some grace in the side of that right neck. We're extending that right shoulder down long away from that right ear. Maybe tilting that chin up towards the sky a little bit. Remember to stay up tall. We don't want to be rounded here. We want to be up nice and tall. So pick that chest up. And the next inhale, reach that right arm back behind you. You can move it around just a little bit, getting into any areas that are holding on to tension or discomfort. As we breathe in, we find some space. And as we exhale, we release any tension we're storing or holding on to. One more deep breath in, one more full breath out. Bring that right hand back to the right knee, drop that chin down to the chest, and roll your head over towards the right, stacking that right ear on top of that right shoulder. Bring that left shoulder down away from the ear, 
sitting up nice and tall here. Focusing on our breath. How we feel in our body today. Maybe we bring that chin up towards the sky. On your next inhale, reach that left arm back behind you, getting into any kind of tension in that left side of the neck. Let's go ahead and release it down. On your next inhale, bring that hand back to the knee. We're going to drop that chin down to the chest and roll the head over towards the left. Pausing and then breathing. Rolling your, rolling your head gently back and forth from side to side. Pausing at the center, bring your hands to your knees, breathing in. We're going to raise our hands up to the sky, twisting to the left. Place the left hand down beside you, behind you, and your right hand on your left knee, twisting gently to the left. And breathing in, filling the lungs. Exhale slowly. Remembering to breathe nice and gently here. Release that twist. Bring your hands back up towards the sky. And slowly twist to the right. Placing that right hand down behind you and the left hand on top of the right knee. Keeping your spine tall, chest up. We breathe in, filling the lungs. Exhale slowly, releasing that breath, deepening the twist. Listening to our body as we just relax. Release, come back to center. Bring the hands together, interlace the fingers for some wrist circles, moving nice and slowly into the wrists. And then switch directions with those wrist circles, moving in the opposite direction. Extend those hands out long in front of you and then reach the hands up towards the sky with the hands interlaced. Breathing in, exhale hands down. We're going to do this two more times, reaching up, breathing in, exhale, release the hands down. Last one, reaching up, grounding those glutes into the mat, pressing those palms against the ceiling, reaching, inhaling, exhale, release. Shake out those hands. Beautiful job. Bringing our feet together, knees apart, we're gonna come into a butterfly pose. Go ahead and open up the feet like a book. And just bring those heels as close to the pubic bone as you can. Breathing in, we're gonna bring those arms out long in front of us. And as we inhale, we're going to bring the chest through the arms, looking up. And as we exhale, we're going to round the spine, bringing the pelvic floor up, the belly button to the spine, and the chin to the chest. Breathing in, looking up. Exhale. 
exhale slowly, chin to chest, rounding that spine. Last one, looking up. Exhale, chin to chest. Let's go ahead and extend that right leg out, keeping that foot flexed. Bring the left foot into the inside of that right inner thigh. We're going to flex that right foot, bringing those toes back towards our face. We're going to reach down and place that right hand down on the inside of that right knee. On your inhale, stretch up with that left arm, becoming nice and long through that left side, filling up those lungs. As we exhale, we're going to fold towards that right foot, reaching with that left arm. Sorry, we're not folding. We are reaching. So this is a side bend. We want to stay up tall in that left shoulder. We don't want to collapse down. Stay nice and tall. We're elongating here. Beautiful. Exhale, hand down. Bring those feet together for a butterfly pose. Maybe those heels come a little bit closer to that pubic bone this time. We're going to go ahead and make some circles this time. So go ahead and just make a circle in one direction, moving nice and slow. Breathing. Switch directions with those circles. Getting into that low back. Sides of the waist. Just moving gently here. Go ahead and extend that left foot out. Bring that right foot to the inside of that left inner thigh. We're going to place the left hand down on the inside of that left knee. Reach up with that right arm and stretch tall towards the sky. On your inhale, we're going to create some space. And as you exhale, let's go ahead and bend towards that left foot with that right side, stretching out nice and long, breathing in. Mindful breaths here, no judgment, just love. Keep that right shoulder tall. We don't want to be collapsed in the shoulder. Rising up. Let's go ahead and bring our knees together, coming into a kneeling position. From here, we're going to go into a tabletop. So make sure that your knees are stacked underneath your hips and that your wrists and shoulders are stacked on top of each other. We're going to go ahead and make sure that our wrists are um, nice and stretched out here. So go ahead and pick up that right hand and turn it around so that it faces that right knee, those fingertips, and do the same thing with the left. So we'll just sit here and rock back and forth nice and gently. Palms are down on the mat. Fingertips are facing towards the knee. We'll just rock nice and slow. We want to make sure this feels real good in the body. So don't do anything too extensive. We don't need to be extreme here. We just want this to feel lovely and nice on the body. Make sure your wrists are not peeling up here. We want to keep those wrists and hands flat on the ground as we do this. Go ahead and tuck those toes under, rocking back and forth nice and gently still. And the next time that your hips are down at your heels, let's pause and hold this for a few breaths, breathing in nice and slow. Exhaling nice and slow, rising up. Go ahead and pick up that right hand, shake out that wrist. We're going to go and place that hand down onto the ground with the fingertips facing out towards the right. We're going to pick up that left hand, do the same thing, shake it out, place it down. The wrists facing each other, fingertips are facing the outside of the mat, and we're just going to rock back and forth nice and gently from right to left left to right. We want this movement to be in our wrists, so make sure that you're moving in your wrists. Breathing nice and slow. Making sure everything feels real good on the body today. We're going to pause here and let's go ahead and make some circles. Moving nice and slow in one direction. And we'll switch directions with those circles, moving in the other direction. 
Making our way up, we're going to go ahead and find our hip straw heels, shake out those hands, interlace those fingers, and let's make some circles with those wrists. Press those hands out long in front of you. Give it a nice good stretch. Shake out your hands. Coming back into your tabletop position, let's go ahead and find that neutral spine. We're going to grip them out with our fingertips and the pads of our fingers, our hands, creating a space or a pocket in the palm. We're going to start off with some mobility drills of the spine here. So go ahead and find that neutral spine. We're going to tuck that tail in between our legs. And as we tuck our tail, I want you to round that spine all the way up, pressing into the mat with those arms, rounding, tucking that chin down to the chest. And then we're going to reverse this movement by untucking the tail, dropping the belly down, nice and slow, dropping the chest, dropping that chest all the way down, squeeze those shoulder blades together, looking up, exhale. We're going to reverse this again by tucking that chin, pressing into the mat with those hands, rounding that upper spine, reticulating, rounding all the way down till we tuck that tail under. We're going to reverse this one more time with the head, so go ahead and pick that head up. Drop that chest down, squeeze those shoulder blades together, drop the belly, drop the pelvis, untuck the tail. Beautiful job. Let's reverse it one more time. It's moving through the spine here. Listening to your body and however it feels good, just make some cat and cow articulations, moving nice and gently, slowly with the spine, rocking back and forth, maybe making some circles, maybe making some waves, whatever feels good for you today. Just make sure that you are enjoying this experience. All right, so now we're just going to go ahead and be in this tabletop position. I want you to just pretend like your shoulders are the wheels of a car, and then we're going to be backing up. So just back, reverse those shoulders. Your shoulders are the wheels of a car. And then we're going to switch directions with those circles moving forward. Trying to keep those arms straight. It's really getting into some motion here. Sometimes it's a little bit more difficult to go forward than it is to go back. Just listen to your body and move intuitively so that everything feels real nice in the body here. Remembering to breathe as we move through these shoulder articulations. We're going to go ahead and come back, bringing our hips to our heels, pressing into that mat, lifting those hips up, coming into a downward facing dog. Go ahead and pedal those feet, getting into the hamstrings, the calves, maybe those Achilles tendons the toes, just breathing, feeling your body, observing how it feels in space today. If you find that your weight is shifted over your wrists so that you're um, not really in a downward facing dog, try pressing into the mat and moving your hips up moving your head away from those hands. So just feel what this looks like in your body. You can keep your knees bent here, that's okay. Let's 
Spinal Traction is the name of this game, so we really want to just try to elongate that spine as best we can. So shift those sit bones up towards the sky as we pedal those feet back and forth. Just really gently moving into this beautiful downward facing dog. Tiptoe your hand, your feet up towards your hands, hanging the upper body heavy. You can go ahead and grab on to opposite elbows with your hands. Or you can interlace your hands behind your head. Whatever feels best for you. You can also keep your knees bent here. As we gently activate those hamstrings, those sit bones, those muscles in the glutes actually. And the hamstrings definitely. This beautiful soft movement here. Rocking back and forth from side to side. It doesn't have to look like anything in particular. It just needs to feel real nice on the body. Placing those hands down onto the ground or onto the shins, we're going to come into this halfway lift. So pick that chest up, breathing in, filling up those lungs. And as we exhale, bring the chest to the thighs. As we fold forward, Rocking back and forth, release that head down. Gradually and slowly, we're going to articulate the spine, rounding all the way up. Over exaggerate this movement just a little bit, and as you get to the top, roll those shoulders up, back, and down. Breathing in, we're going to raise those hands up towards the sky. And as we exhale, we're going to fold forward. Diving forward, placing the hands down onto the mat. Step that right foot back. Step the left foot back, coming into this downward facing dog. Pedal those feet. Moving nice and gently here. Just moving with our body, with our breath. Step the right foot forward between the hands. Lower the left knee down, keeping those back toes tucked under. Go ahead and untuck them now. We're going to interlace our fingers, placing them on top of that right knee. And we're going to slide those hips forward. We really want to feel this in that hip flexor on the left side. Just breathe in here. Just allow some space and some grace. Breathing in, pressing those hands into the knee, shifting that left hip forward. And we're going to slide back, placing the hands down onto the ground or onto some blocks here for our half split. We really want to make sure that um, you can grab some blocks here because we really want to make sure that our spine is straight here. So if your spine is curved here, then you want to definitely grab some blocks. Grabbing those blocks allows us to have some space to be able to find that length that we're after. So go ahead and dig that right heel into the ground. We're thinking about shifting that right hip forward, left hip back. I'm sorry. We want to be thinking about pulling that right hip back, left hip forward. Go ahead and breathe into this nice hamstring stretch. And breathing in. Holding deeper on the exhale. We're going to slide forward here. You can re release those blocks if you had them. Press into that mat with those hands. Quietly step that right foot back into a downward facing dog. Pedal those feet nice and slow. Picking up that left foot, step it in between the hands. Drop that right knee down, untuck those toes. Interlace your hands, placing them on top of that left knee. We're going to press into that knee as we lower our hips down towards the mat, lengthening that psoas on the right side. Moving nice and slow here, just breathing into this intense hip flexor stretch. Try to make sure that your hips are straight here. We don't want them to be off square. 
We're going to press back into a half split now, sliding those hips backwards, extend that left foot long, flex that foot. You want to grab your blocks here so you can add some elevation, trying to keep that spine up and long. We're breathing in nice and slow, filling up those lungs, and as we exhale, we're going to lower our chest down towards our thighs. Breathing in, finding some space. And on the exhale, we come down just a little bit further. Tucking those right toes under, we're going to press into the mat with our hands and step that left foot back, coming back into a downward facing dog. Just enjoying this down dog. So we pedal our feet back and forth. Step that right foot forward, extending that left leg long behind you. We're going to stay up tall on those toes. Go ahead and engage that quad. Keep that kneecap pulled up and engage that left glute as we rock back and forth nice and slowly here. Adding some space. And just breathing in. Nice and slow. Rocking back and forth. When your body feels ready, you can drop that left knee down. Untuck those toes. Reach that right arm up. Reach it back behind you, grabbing for those toes on the left foot. If you have access and you can grab them, then do that. If not, take your strap. You can make a loop with that strap, and you can loop it around your foot. Grabbing onto it, we'll come back into this beautiful quad stretch. If you don't need a strap, just continue to grab onto that foot with that hand. We want to try to keep that chest up nice and tall here. Breathing in, enjoying that nice, beautiful stretch. Bringing that foot in towards the glute, releasing, kicking into that hand, release that foot down, heel toe that right foot out towards the edge of the mat. You can use a couple of blocks here to find some elevation. We'll just come down onto our forearms, find some space, breathing into that hip flexor, rocking back and forth from side to side. If you don't need the blocks, you can move them out of the way and make your way down onto your forearms. I like to rock that right leg out towards the right placing that left forearm down on the ground and I'll use my right hand to open that right knee out towards the right. Gently um, applying some pressure here. And breathing in. Exhaling, releasing, placing that right hand down, left hand down, press into the mat, tuck those left toes, come up strong into this runner's lunge almost. We're going to quietly pick up that right foot, place it back by the left, coming into a plank pose. Breathing in. I'm just going to hold this plank. Hugging those thighs in towards each other. Pull that belly up. Press into the mat with those hands. Very active here. Try to keep your spine in a neutral position. Holding this plank. Beautiful job. Don't forget to breathe here. Lower down in five, four, three, two, one. Press it back into a downward facing dog. Paddling those feet. Nice and gently, moving from one leg to the next. Pausing here, holding this down dog. We're just going to breathe in nice and slow. Exhaling even slower. On the next inhale, step that left foot forward, placing it down on the outside of that left foot, staying tall on those right toes, keeping that right kneecap pulled up, right 
right calf engaged, right quad engaged, right glute engaged, rocking back and forth, creating some space here. So moving gently into the body, getting into that right side, that hip flexor. Just breathing here, keeping that spine long, try to look up, keep your head up. Drop that knee down on the right side. We're going to reach up nice and tall with that left arm. We're going to bend that right knee, bringing that heel in towards the glute. Grabbing onto that hand, onto that foot with that hand if it's possible. If not, use your strap here. We're just going to hold onto this stretch, breathing nice and slow, filling up the lungs. And on the exhale, we're just going to drop those hips down closer to the mat. allowing the space and grace here as we gently allow our body to find some flexibility and mobility. We're not worried about anything. Go ahead and release that foot down. Place both hands down onto the ground. You can use your blocks here if you'd like. Coming down onto your forearms. Keeping that spine long. We're just going to allow some space in this beautiful lizard pose. I'm going to keep the spine long. I like to take my left hand and place it on the inside of that left knee and open that left hip out towards the left. Just breathing into this intense stretch. And remember, we always want everything to feel really nice on the body. So just listen to your body, find that edge of discomfort and stay there. Just breathing in nice and slow. Pressing your hands into the mat. We're going to tuck those right toes under, come strong on that right leg. And then we're going to gently step that left foot back, meeting up with the right, coming into a plank pose. Staying tall here, we're going to be nice and strong, just holding onto this plank, breathing. And we're going to drop those knees down to the mat and then lift them up. We want this movement just to come from the knees. So try to focus on just allowing those knees to drop down and then lifting back up. Just tap those knees, lift, staying nice and strong in those hands and the shoulders. We want to make sure this plank is really nice. Go ahead and press it back now into this downward facing dog. Moving nice and slow, pedaling those feet. Beautiful job. You're doing great. Go ahead and lower those knees down. Bring your hips to your heels. We're going to bring those big toes together, knees apart. Extend those hands out long in front of you for a child's pose. Bring that forehead to the mat. And just breathe in here nice and slow. Allowing our body to catch up with our breath and our breath to catch up with our body as we just Breathe nice and slowly here. Rising up, making your way back up into a tabletop position. And then actually, let's just come into a seated position. So swing those legs out long in front of you. You can grab onto the back of your legs here and help yourself down by rounding the spine. Or you can place your fingertips, forearms down, lowering all the way down onto the spine. I'm going to go ahead and just keep those knees bent here, breathing in. Go ahead and place those hands onto the hips, making sure that those hips are square, finding some space into the mat. We're going to extend that right leg out long in front of us. We're going to grab onto that left knee and hug it into our chest. Try to keep the foot flexed on the right and point those toes on the left. Just breathing in. Allowing that leg just to come closer to the chest. Go ahead and release that. Bring in the right leg. Extend that left leg long in front of you. Feels so good just to stretch the body. Breathing in nice and slowly. Hug that left knee in. 
Now we've got our hands and our knees. Let's go ahead and make some knee circles, moving those knees out and in one direction, nice and slow. Switch directions with those knee circles. Moving nice and slow. Listening to your body. Go ahead and place those feet down onto the ground. Extend your hands out, your arms out like a T. Let's go ahead and move those knees over towards the right. You can hug the knees up towards the chest just a little bit. We'll stay here and just breathe into this intense stretch. Our gaze is towards the left hand. We just want to allow the left shoulder to just melt onto the ground here. So just breathe in nice and slow. And on the exhale, just melt further into the ground. Twists are always a nice way to relieve stress on that spine. We're going to take that left hand and we're going to bring those fingertips, keeping them on the ground, and we're going to bring them up above our head like we're drawing a rainbow or a half circle above us on the floor. We're going to meet up with that right arm and we're going to pause and we're going to open that left arm up towards the sky like it's the page of a book and we're opening it back to the left. Pausing here, we're going to stretch reaching with intent with that left hand reaching up over our head over towards the right pausing and opening the arm back up last one moving nice and slow moving with intent open the arm back up Go ahead and take that right hand, place it on top of that left knee to help encourage the twist. And as we breathe, we fill up our lungs. And as we exhale, we just allow our body to become heavier, allowing that shoulder to melt further into the ground. Relaxing here. And just breathing naturally. Not forcing it, not rushing it. All right, go ahead and release that hand from the knee. Bring those knees back to center, keeping your arms out like a T. Let's roll those knees over towards the left. Our gaze is towards the right. We're just going to allow our body to acclimate to this twist. Allowing that right shoulder to find some space and some grace as it melts down into the ground. Just breathing here listening to our body and observing where we are in space today. Go ahead and take those right fingertips and reach them up above your head. We're gonna make that half circle or that rainbow, meeting up with that left hand and we'll open that arm up like a book, back towards the right. We're gonna do two more of these, moving nice and slow with the body, following those fingertips as they go up above the head and over towards the left meeting up with that left arm and then opening back up towards the right. Last one. Reaching really far with those fingertips as far as you can over towards the left hand, pausing and opening. We'll take that left hand, place it on top of that right knee, encouraging the twist as we just breathe in. Filling up that area, giving us some space. And as we exhale, we just melt further into the ground, releasing all that tension and stress from the right side of the body. And just listen to your body here. Releasing that knee, bringing those knees back to center, squaring up those hips, Hug those knees in, grabbing onto your feet for happy baby. Just extending one leg and then the other as you rock from side to side, moving gently into the body. 
Trying to bring those knees into the armpits. Just moving nice and gently. Filling up those lungs nice and full. Exhaling. Go ahead and lower those feet down to your mat. Feet together, knees apart for a reclined butterfly. Bringing one hand to your heart and one hand to your belly. We'll just breathe in, filling up those lungs. And as we exhale, we release any tension from that pelvic floor, just allowing that pelvic floor to relax into the ground. It should feel real nice on the body. If it does not feel good on your knees, go ahead and take those blocks and prop them underneath your knees. It should help add some stability and some safety for your body as your body becomes more and more relaxed into this position. If your body would be more comfortable, you can extend your legs out long in front of you, allowing your feet to splay open to the sides, bringing the arms and the hands down by the sides, with your hands facing up. You can stay here in the Shavasana for as long as you would like. When you're ready to exit the Shavasana, you can begin by making small movements into the toes, the fingers, maybe reaching those hands long above the head, extending the arms like your first morning stretch. You can roll to one side or the other, helping yourself up, or you can rock back and forth, whatever feels right for you today. Have a beautiful day.